Hey, welcome back. It's me, Wasabi, and we have another episode of Wasabi Has Spoken, a series of quick comparison videos. These videos are structured to best highlight some of the things that stand out more for each product and share my preference with each game that I play. For you people who are wondering which product I prefer over another, this series is made just for that and hopefully help you narrow down your list of options. Hey guys, it's me again. Sorry if I look like a complete mess because I just ended my shift in working in the restaurant and I'm pretty exhausted. It's pretty late at night and I'm still kind of covered in flour. To be honest, I'm a little behind schedule but it's okay. I will keep my content going and let's get on with the video. Today we have the x -Lite V3 Mini from Pulsar and the Lamzu Thorn. The x -Lite V3 Mini comes in at $99.95. This size was released sometime in January this year. It has a right-handed ergonomic shape and the unit that I have weighs in at 52.9 grams, an official weight of 52 grams, and a variance of 1 gram. This mini version is a size that quite a lot of people are curious about because there are not a lot of ergonomic mouse options available on the market that offers a size like this. And this is something that many gamers appreciate because, for example, a Dev at a V3 Pro Mini is a mouse that many gamers have been waiting for for a long time, but it never happened. So if you are into gaming minds of a small form factor, this could very well be the mouse for you. The Lamzu Thorn, on the other hand, is priced at $91.99, released just last year in August, and it has a right-handed ergonomic shape. The unit I have weighs in at 53.9 grams and an official listed weight of 50 52 grams. This is Lamzu's first ever ergonomic mouse. It's very lightweight for an ergo and the Lamzu Thorn was such a big success since launch. In that point of time, it was such a great option for gamers looking for a smaller, lightweight ergonomic mouse to use. Between these two mice, there's something about the Lamzu that gives you the impression that it's no ordinary mouse. Subtle details like the pattern you see on the square wheel of every Lamzu mouse and the gold logo badge on the left hand corner of the mouse is very visible even while gaming. Design-wise, I feel the Lamzu Thorn really does stand out quite a lot and so the Lamzu Thorn is the one that I would pick. Build quality-wise, I gotta hand it to Pulsar because this mouse feels incredibly solid and very well put together. Side buttons on the Lamzu Thorn feel a lot more instant. The ones on the X-Lite feel ever so slightly mushier compared to the Thorn with my experience. Both these mice have optical switches. I quite prefer how the click sound and feel crispier on the Lamzu Thorn over the x Lite V3 Mini. As a matter of fact, one of the best feeling clicks from an optical switch you can find on any ergonomic mouse. The official weight listed for both these mice comes in at 52 grams, practically an unnoticeable difference in hand. It's funny to see plus minus different grams from different brands. I do wish there was a standard limit for all brands to follow. That way, everything will be a lot simpler and clearer for all gamers. When it comes to grip and control, this is where I find the thorn to be rather interesting because of how much the side curves and angles in. It almost makes your thumb feel locked in and in my opinion, that gives you a great amount of control over the mouse. The battery life between both these mice at 1000 hz polling rate, the x v 3 Mini has a much longer battery life that goes up to 100 hours on a full charge. And just to share, after going through a couple of Lemzu mice, the battery life performance is not something I would consider when choosing a Lemzu mouse. I really do feel that Lemzu mice lack in battery life performance compared to other mice in the market. If I had to pick one mouse for casual and work use, I would have to go with the Lamzu Thorn because I feel that the shape and size gives a lot more comfort with my grip. Choosing between these two mice for a watch too, I quite enjoyed the combination of support from the shape of the thorn and its weight for quick movements. The x v 3 Mini doesn't feel like it gives enough support here, so that is why I would pick the Lamzu Thorn over the x Lite. The Lamzu Thorn generally feels much better for fast movement gameplay. As always, this is purely subjective and it really depends on your hand size as well. The Lamzu Thorn is wide enough to hold onto its sides naturally, whereas the x v 3 Mini feels a little too skinny when pinching on its side. The x v 3 Mini is an interesting ergo because because it's one that works well with a fingertip grip while playing Valorant, I quite enjoyed using it this way over the Lamzu Thorn. This is the kind of game you will play casually and only stop when you realize that it's way past your bedtime. So having good battery life performance is what I would prioritize in casual games like this. And it's the same reason for a game like Cyberpunk, battery life performance is great and even though I find the Lamzu Thorn 
want to be better for palm grip, the XIB3 Mini is a neat little mouse that you can still feel some level of comfort from its ergonomic shape. To be honest, these are both great ergonomic mice options to choose from. The Lemzu Thorn feels broader in shape, while the X Lite is a lot curvier and elegant in a way. If I could only pick either one to use for the next two to three years, I would have to go with the Lemzu Thorn. Even though the XIB3 Mini is a fantastic mouse, it feels a little too small and a little uncomfortable for me when I use a palm grip, which is the opposite of what it should do. Of course, this would depend on your hand size. Size aside, the Lemzu Thorn looks and feels like a gamer's mouse, very lightweight in the hand and movement feels light and snappy. On top of that, the Lemzu Thorn is quite a unique design for an ergonomic mouse and the sound and feel of these optical switches are one of the best on any ergonomic mouse that I've tried. I think that both of these mice are excellent ergonomic options for gamers. If you want a mouse with more ergonomic comfort with a palm grip, and something to use more than just for gaming, definitely go for an ergonomic mouse that works best for your hand size. The Pulsar XIV3 comes in three sizes, so you can check it out on their website. But if you're curious to know more about either of these mice, I've done a review on both of them. It goes into more detail on what to expect from the mouse itself some things that I like about it, and some things I feel can be improved. So yeah, this was another episode of Wasabi Has Spoken. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Leave a like and subscribe to support my channel. New content coming out every week, and I guess I'll see you in the next one. Yeah, I probably should take a shower.